Um, you're going to want a bolster and um, substitutes for a bolster can involve the two blankets rolled up like I showed you in the email yesterday or even if you just have a big pillow um, it's about those dimensions so this is about six inches by about two feet by about one foot across here and then a blanket roll and so you maybe figured this out from the book but just in case you didn't you can take any blanket it doesn't have to be a yoga blanket and you can start with it in a rectangle fold just like so which is called a quarter fold in the book and then you'll just roll it up along the long edge uh, so it's got one short edge and one long go along the long edge so you have a nice big long skinny blanket roll so that's everything you need for this practice um, but definitely welcome to have a pillow for your head when you're lying down i just have another folded blanket um, a blanket to cover yourself up we want to be as cozy as possible uh, eye pillow or even just a soft towel to cover your eyes all of those things are the optional extras and we're going to set up now for basic relaxation pose so in basic relaxation pose you actually will just set up your bolster with the blanket roll just a few inches away from it so when you bring your legs up and over the bolster your heels rest on the blanket roll so you can just adjust so that that is your reality and then you can take your hands behind you and lower yourself down onto your back you might need to adjust your pillow if you're using one you're welcome to cover your eyes, but you don't have to. And then just as if you were doing a supported Shavasana, you can release your arms alongside you with your palms facing up. Or if it feels more comfortable to you, you can rest your palms down on your belly. So for each of these poses, I'll guide you in with my voice and visually, and then I'll come out so I can speak to you so let's get comfortable. Lie back with your legs supported. Release your arms in a way that feels comfortable to you. And then if you're feeling safe and comfortable, you can close your eyes. Let's return your awareness to your breath. Notice the places where your body is touching the earth. The back of your head, your shoulder blades. Maybe your elbows, the base of your spine, of course, the backs of your knees and your heels. And feel that in each of those places where you're touching the earth, you're becoming heavier, sinking down a little the way you were, would if you were relaxing in the sand, your body making an imprint on the earth beneath you. And then feel that in each of those places, the earth is equally rising up to support the downward release of your body. There's a presence of willingness and support beneath you. 
as if the earth wants nothing more than to elicit your unfolding here. Feel your breath completely effortless, moving like waves through your body, softening the inner edges of your body, the way the earth softens to the touch of the ocean, like a boulder being worn down into a fine sand over many, many days and many, many waves. Bring your awareness to the crown of your head. and soften your scalp. And soften your forehead, your temples, soften the backs of your eyes, Feel your eyes become still and heavy in the sockets, like two pearls settling into the sandy bottom of the ocean. Soften your cheeks and the hinges of your jaw. Soften your tongue and the palate of your mouth. And soften your throat, the nape of your neck. Soften that hollow between your collarbones. Soften your shoulders and feel some of the weight you've been carrying roll off them into the earth. Soften your elbows and your forearms. Soften your wrists. And soften the palms of your hands and your fingers. This is the ultimate gesture of receptivity. Nothing left to cling to or push away. I'm just receiving this moment, this breath, this gift of deep rest. And draw your awareness from your hands back up your arms to the center of your chest. Soften the back of your heart. And softening is more than just physical. There's an emotional release, a 
belief and understanding that you are deserving of this time of rest. And soften your belly and the space around your kidneys, the small of your back. Imagine or feel the organs within your abdomen swimming in space. Soften your pelvis and the root of your spine. Feel your hips settle into the earth. And soften the backs of your thighs. Soften the backs of your knees. Soften your calves. Soften your ankles. Soften the tops of your feet. Soften your toes. Soften the bottoms of your feet. Feel the whole outer perimeter of your body now. So soft. So open. That it's no longer entirely clear where your body ends and where the earth begins. Instead of the distinction of self versus other. Instead of separation, the boundaries that are constructs of your mind. Feel only non-division, non-separation. This we could call union, or perhaps even yoga. This non-separation, this state of connection doesn't come easily from the conscious mind, the thinking mind. This is like diving deeply all the way down into the very depths of yourself, like diving to the silent depths of a very deep ocean. It comes to you not by way of action, it's not something that we strive to achieve by being the best, getting the best sales numbers. This comes to us by way of receptivity. A willingness to believe that perhaps for now in this moment, everything that you need is already here. And 
the outstretched palm of the earth beneath you reaches out to support the weight of your body so your muscles no longer have to. All around you is an ocean of breath just waiting to become yours. Constructs of time and space cease to take up any meaningful space in your mind. Instead, there's just breath by breath. And now, and the experience of being you. And the realization that here is not a VIP only area. Here and now is available to you. Every time you open the windows to your soul and invite here and now and breath in. Here is home. You are home. And you have always belonged here. The separation, the division, the worry, the doubt, all of this was just a construct of your mind. Reality is this breath. in your body supported by the earth. You might find yourself drifting in and out, rising to the surface, then sinking to the depths. Try not to cling to either place. This drifting, this pulsation of Consciousness is entirely natural. Static is not a state of living. This undulation of beginning, middle, end, beginning is a natural cycle. Consciousness expresses like a wave, often rising to a peak, and then dissolving back into the ocean. And just in the same way, your breath emerges seemingly from nowhere. and then returns to the source. So without clinging or grasping, just ride this wave. Know that there's absolutely no way you can get this wrong. You've already done everything that you need to do. 
for a successful practice. Now it's time to simply receive, to be held, to belong, Let's gently begin to deepen your breath. Softly move your fingers and your toes. Slowly slide your right arm up overhead. Bend your knees one at a time, resting your feet on the bolster. And on an exhale of your choosing, roll gently to your right side. You curl up for a moment there in a fetal position, just as you might come out of any Shavasana. Linger without any rush in that space between known and unknown, memory and anticipation. Exhale and place your left hand down into the space in front of your heart. Gently press yourself up to sitting. When you get here, take your legs back up and over the bolster, just as they were when you were lying down. Come to sitting tall and roll your shoulders back. So this transition is always the most confusing once you're in a relaxed state. We're going to leave all of your props as they are. You're going to move your legs off to the left side. So take them off the bolster. Bring your right hip up to touch the bolster. And then just tuck your feet in behind you. So they're where your head was when you were lying on your back. So now the bolster is running along the length of your right thigh. Notice how there's a little space between your blanket roll and your bolster. We're going to come into supported side bend and you can actually bring your shoulder 
to that space between the blanket roll and the bolster. And you want the blanket roll to support the weight of your head. So if it's not quite big enough, you could just double it over. Your right hand can just stream out in front of you. You can either just leave your left arm wherever it is, or bring your left arm up and over alongside your left ear for a little more length across your left side. The supported side bend. You can close your eyes if that feels comfortable. And I'd love for you to notice and I'd like to acknowledge that this pose often doesn't feel as relaxed as the previous pose. And you may notice that some of that subconscious tension has found its way into the muscles of your right side, perhaps your hips, your legs, your jaw. Feel the support that's along your right side here. Release your body into that support, knowing that you can breathe into your right lung here. However, you may choose to breathe more into your left lung where there's the sensation of space and freedom. It can be useful here to visualize a mountain stream flowing around a boulder that's fallen into its path. And to embody that effortlessness with which the stream makes its way around the boulder. There's no hesitation or tension just a unified, uninterrupted flow. Feel yourself soft and heavy onto the bolster. Let your mind transform it from an obstacle into a tool for support. And perhaps start to feel a new sensation of space between the ribs on the left side, even between the left side of your vertebra that would not be possible without the support on your right side. And gently return to your breath. And place your left palm into the solid bolster in front of your heart. Press down into your left hand and maybe your right elbow to come all the way up off the bolster. Again, leave your props exactly as they are. And in any way that makes sense to you right now, turn your body around to sit on the opposite hip, left hip now, left thigh running along the edge of your bolster, and simply guide yourself into the other side. Bring your left shoulder down to the space between the blanket roll and the bolster. Make sure your head is supported enough that there's no strain in your neck. Leave your right arm wherever it is, or feel free to draw it alongside your right ear and explore a little more length along your right side. 
Close your eyes. Return to your breath. Reminder that you can breathe into your left lung as well as your right lung. Feel the opposite side. It's like flipping over a coin, same coin, but slightly different on the other side, or perhaps the difference between ascending a mountain and descending a mountain. But here on the second side, you have the experience, the memory of what came before. Sometimes this infuses the next side with excitement and anticipation and sometimes it creates resistance or reservation. It depends on the imprint of the memory. Notice if you're cultivating resistance to something that you haven't known yet. This is normal, we're humans. And yet, can you have this experience as though unique, new? And you consider that there's something to be gained or gleaned from being here. There's a freedom, a spaciousness, possibly just in your right side ribs that would not be possible without the foundation, the compression of your left side. Gently return to your breath. And place your right palm down into the space in front of your heart. And gently press down to come up to sitting again on your left hip. So let's stay on your left hip. Let's move your blanket roll out of the way for now. And then take your bolster and turn it now so it's what I think of as long ways. And now just the narrow end will be touching your hip. And we're going to move into a grounding supported twist. Take your fingertips on either side of the bolster like two little kickstands. Lengthen your spine and then gently start to turn toward the bolster. Right ribs roll gently down as you lower your belly, your heart, and either cheek onto the bolster. Once you arrive, you can take your arms wide enough so that you're not tempted to try to support yourself with your arms. Certainly, if you know that your spine needs to twist less. You just twist less. Think less about getting your belly and your heart down onto the bolster. Feel free just to lie a bit more heavily on your left side. And once you're comfortable here, if there's any discomfort with your knees touching, you can either just slide one back so they're not touching or you can always put a folded blanket or pillow between your knees. Close your eyes. Soften your jaw and shoulders. 
feel the comfort of heart and belly touching the earth as represented by the bolster. The earth in this case being the presence of something solid, firm, supportive. This one can really feel like coming home, resting your head in the lap of Mother Nature. Maybe a long time since you let your heart be held like this. So be tender, be gentle, it could be easy. Know that you can breathe here and just like before, you may have to find a new place to send your breath, like more toward the back of your lungs. Feel each breath transforming tension into compassion, effort into ease. Resistance into receptivity. Gently return to your breath. And draw your hands back in, palms down. And press down into your hands to lift yourself up off the bolster. Once again, leave the bolster where it is and turn your body around. So if you're sitting on your left hip, you'll turn until you're sitting on your right hip. You can draw the bolster up to touch your right hip. And take your fingertips on either side. Lengthen your spine. This time roll your left ribs ever so gently down as you lower down. Heart, belly and the opposite cheek from last time. And then take your arms wide. Soften the muscles of your legs and your abdominals. Soften your jaw and close your eyes. And feel that softening around the back of your heart. And return to your breath. Remember, know that you can breathe here, maybe more into the back of your lungs than you usually do. Feel 
feel that familiarity that always comes with doing something on the next side. Familiarity can be a wonderful gateway to the relaxation response. Knowing or at least thinking that we know. In this way, we're creating state fluency in the language of relaxation. Going in, coming out, and going back in. So each time you return, the journey to the depths is less arduous, less prolonged, until eventually it's just like dropping an anchor into the depths of the ocean. The only way is down and in. Settling into yourself. There's no other place to be. And they return to your breath. Place your palms down on either side of the bolster and slowly press yourself up to sitting on your right hip. Once again, leave the bolster as it is. Turn away from the bolster. So come onto your seat. And just sit so that the edge of the bolster is touching the base of your spine. Let's find your blanket roll from earlier. You place the soles of your feet together and your knees wide. So your feet or your legs make Baddha Konasana legs like a diamond shape. Place the center of the blanket roll on top of your feet. And then just lift your knees enough that you can take the edges of the blanket roll, wrap them around so they touch, they meet behind your heels. And then your shins, your legs can relax into the blanket roll in Baddha Konasana legs. Once you've done this, take your hands behind you, hold the bolster close to you to start. Draw your chin to your chest, soften your belly. And use your arms for support as you lie back onto your bolster. Release the back of your heart and your head. Then release your arms alongside you with your palms facing up. Now straight away, if this feels like a little too much for your low back, try moving the base of your spine away from the edge of the bolster to create some space. Similarly, if your hips and your knees still don't feel comfortable with 
the blanket roll supporting them. You can easily just free your feet from the blanket roll and extend your legs out long. This is called heart pose. Here you can close your eyes once you're comfortable. It's not uncommon to feel a little bit of elevation or amplification of your energy or your heart rate here. So as you return to your breath, I'd love for you to make your exhales slightly longer than your inhales. You don't have to count. Just following the out breath out a little more. No strain. But here on the out breath is where the heart begins to slow. Blood pressure drops. The whole physiology settles. Feel that familiar now softening of the backs of your eyes and the hinges of your jaw, neck and shoulders. A sensation of space across your heart and belly. These energetic centers that we associate with compassion, courage. It's possible that this is the most courageous thing you've ever done. Certainly, this might be the greatest gift that you ever give or receive. And truly, to be here takes heart. This understanding that in order for you to be able to continue to show up, to be of service, to support those other people in your life. It's absolutely essential that you come here and fill the cup all the way to the top. So this practice becomes like a well that you drink from frequently to sustain you. Gently return to your breath. And 
If your knees are still wide, you can use your hands to draw them together. If your legs are extended out long, you can bend one knee and then the other. Let's place your right hand down onto the earth next to you, just so you get a feeling for where the earth is. And on an exhale, gently roll off your bolster. And come to rest in a fetal position on your right side. Exhale and place your left palm down into the space in front of your heart. Slowly press your way up to sitting. And I will prepare for a supported child's pose. So you can come onto your hands and knees facing your bolster. If your knees are anything like mine, then sitting back on your heels is a little uncomfortable. You can always slide a blanket or a pillow into the backs of your knees, just like so, to create some space. And then we'll take your knees wide enough that you can draw the bolster a couple of inches inside your knee. Walk your hands forward and place your heart and either cheek down onto the bolster. And if this feels quite comfortable, you can close your eyes. And if you feel that the bolster is quite far away and you're working quite hard to get all the way down onto the bolster. Consider stacking some of your blankets or pillows on top of the bolster, essentially just making it bigger, bringing it closer to you. And just like you did earlier, make sure your arms are wide enough that you're not tempted to try to bear weight with your arms here. Let your heart be supported. Feel the shape of your body now, like a seed dropping from a farmer's palm into the freshly tilled soil. all the potential in the universe within the perimeter of your skin, waiting to be activated by those perfect conditions, sunlight, water, support, breath. And those cracks at the surface that we've been judging every time we look in the mirror simply become the places where the light gets in. Keep your eyelids heavy and just turn your head, place the opposite cheek down on the bolster. Soften your jaw. Feel that sensation of space or opening across the back of your heart. Perhaps breathe in such a way that you can imagine you're able to inhale all the way down into your kidneys. To be at the beginning of the journey in such a rich place. Sometimes we get tripped up with the idea of being a beginner, a novice, but instead, these are the moments where 
Everything is possible. The story is not yet written. We can ensure that when it is written, we'll be the ones holding the pen. Gently begin to deepen your breath. And then draw your palms in, press them down into the earth and slowly come up off the bolster. You can move your way into any seat that makes sense in your body. You can sit on any, all, none of your props. Just find a seat that's comfortable for you. And bring the palms of your hands together to touch in Anjali Mudra. This word Anjali means that an offering has been made here this evening. And in these challenging times, I think it's imperative that we remember that this practice is the offering that you make to everyone whose lives you touch. Namaste.